Hi, I'm Charles with AniCap. Today's video is part 2 of my recap for the 2022 anime Love After World Domination. The story continues showing how Dasumi hides her identity in order to attend high school. A friend teases her for being a workaholic and how it will make it impossible for her to get a boyfriend, as she sheepishly agrees. Just then, the trio spot Fudo having lunch with his team's new pink gelato. Haru asks Fudo out to find if it was actually him in the photo and if the girl was his girlfriend, but no, she shouldn't ask about people's private lives. She hesitates when asking and Fudo reveals he actually knows what she wants to ask. He incorrectly predicts that her question must be about strength training. He provides her with supplements and a training regimen. She begins to mention her concern over a picture, but he interrupts again, assuming she is concerned about the pictures taken of him for the exercise book, and he tells her not to worry as he used proper form. After witnessing this display of his, she is confident that he doesn't actually have a girlfriend. Later, the freezing Sentai Gelato 5 arrive to stop Gecko once again. Fudo is prepared for his and Dasumi's normal routine, but he ends up getting hit. He just thinks his timing is off and tries to send a message with a glance, as usual, but it is only ignored. He continues to take a beating, and she explains that she saw him with Haru at the cafe. He explains that she was only looking for bodybuilding advice, and she admits that she knows he would never cheat on her, but seeing them together made her think he might be happier with someone better than herself. She also dislikes how dating has made her weak and pathetic. Dasumi begins to think that maybe she is just not cut out for love. He reassures her by saying how he is an awkward guy but the type to always follow through on his promises. He then vows to love her and no one else for the rest of his life. He asks for her trust and she gives it to him. Later, she says she hasn't forgiven the after school date he was on and demands he take her on one as well. He happily agrees just as the two notice Haru just sitting there right next to them. She asks him to leave with her but says nothing else. Fudo begins to wonder if maybe she hasn't figured it out. He asks and she reveals that she heard everything from the very beginning. He imagines his team's disappointment as it is revealed that Haru will be starting their meeting with an announcement. Surprisingly, she lies and says that they both have a test so they must leave early. He can't figure out why she hasn't said anything and Dasumi starts to become paranoid as well. Just in case Haru is watching, they decide to keep their distance, but Dasumi gets fed up and concludes she must silence Haru forever. Fudo says to wait, but she says not to worry as she will not fail. She seems to notice something and requests that Fudo get her a complicated coffee drink that he has to write down. Once Fudo leaves, Haru appears before Dasumi, revealing that she knows her true identity and requesting a duel. The fight is very one-sided, but Haru refuses to give up and only ends up getting knocked out. When she comes to, she acknowledges her defeat and Dasumi's strength. She explains the reason she joined the team was because she was in love with Fudo. She always suspected he had a girlfriend but was surprised to see that not only was she an enemy, but someone she knew personally. Haru reveals that Dasumi was the person that rescued her from some thugs, and told her to become strong. She thought that perhaps falling in love did make her weak, but it's obvious now that she is as strong as ever. Dasumi asks why she doesn't tell people and Haru explains that she has no right to steal their happiness. The two then embrace and cry together. Later, Fudo arrives admitting he failed to find her drink and is shocked when he thinks that Dasumi actually went through with silencing Haru. The three walk home and Haru tells them that she is rooting for them. However, she then whispers into Dasumi's ear that if she ever gives her the chance, she just might take him from her, so they better get along. Sometime later, the Gecko have a meeting and Supreme Leader Boslar shows them the monthly leaderboard that is led by Reaper Princess's team. He also credits her for beating up Red Gelato a bunch and for her outstanding attendance. At the cafeteria, Dasumi overhears the Beast Princess vowing to outdo her and become number one. Dasumi explains that she has a bad temper and hates losing while also introducing the Steel Princess who is uncompetitive and hard to figure out. The Beast Princess is disinterested when the Steel Princess reveals she has fallen in love. However, Dasumi volunteers her assistance. She goes on to explain that the person she is in love with is a co-worker and knows that it is against the rules but just can't help herself. The Beast Princess says rules are most important looking for backup from Dasumi, but she doesn't give any as she can't help but relate. Dasumi says to forget the rules and Steel Princess reveals she would like to tell the person how she feels but believes she possesses no qualities that are considered appealing in a woman. Dasumi then says that she will help her become more feminine and build her confidence so that she can have the courage to tell the person. They start with a bit of Pilates and Beast questions why she's even there. They do a bit of cooking, some reading on femininity, and she paints her own nails for the first time. 
After failing at swimming as well, she expresses thanks, but feels worse than ever and quits. Later, Dasumi explains to Fudo what she has been up to and how she used to lack confidence the way Still Princess does. Dasumi feels like she has failed and asks Fudo what he expects in a partner. He reveals that he expects nothing and having her by his side is all he needs. They then realize how lucky they both are. Later, Dasumi is surprised to see that Still Princess is keeping herself in a labyrinth. She avoids its attack while admitting that she was wrong and that Steel Princess never had to change. Her not being good at something is okay and she should just be herself. Thanks to her friends, Steel Princess has found some courage and finally accepts herself for who she is. Her love is revealed to be Bear and he sweeps her off her feet. At the cafeteria, Bear has a tense conversation as he asks another leader if he could borrow Steel Princess. After a moment, she happily accepts but explains Steel is pretty freaking dumb. Later, the new couple fight against Gelato 5 and Blue Gelato realizes he must get red as the pair are too strong. However, Pink successfully turns him away and waits patiently for praise from the couple she idolizes. After thanking Haru, they begin to eat and Dasumi explains that research has revealed that couples that eat together should be feeding each other. Fudo has heard this as well and thanks God for creating this world. Before they can give it a try, Fudo begins to have a pain he has never felt before. With his dying breath, he requests that she feed him, but he just ends up passing out. Three days later, Fudo recovers and it is revealed it was appendicitis. He accepts Misaki's offer for some food, but realizes that Tsumi must be the first woman to feed him. Haru realizes it as well and helps him out. After they leave, he opens wide for Tsumi to feed him, but realizes that it is actually his mother who leaves shortly after. Dasumi arrives interrupting his workout and worried for his health, but Fudo reveals he would never die until he let her feed him. After all that, the two finally get their moment as she feeds him an apple. The moment becomes more romantic, but Fudo's mother comes back and takes Dasumi away as her women's group needs another player for volleyball. Later, the two demonstrate really good teamwork as they lead their volleyball team to victory. Fudo's mother then apologizes for interrupting her and her son's moment explaining she used to feed her man as well, back in the day. She then shows Dasumi a picture of her younger, more attractive self, but Dasumi can only think of how cute Fudo was as a child. Fudo's mother then asks that she take care of her son and she says okay. Days later, the Gelato 5 fight the gecko as Fudo and Dasumi decide on their next couple activity. It is summertime so she would like to go to the beach and Fudo is flustered at the idea of wearing swimsuits. At the Gecko Cafeteria, Beast is amazed at the deadly aura surrounding Reaper Princess, and can only wonder what is causing it. However, she is disappointed to find that she is simply picking dessert. Beast reminds her that she has an image to uphold as she goofily eats her food, and she questions why she joined Gecko in the first place. Dasumi explains that her parents applied for her, and she passed the difficult entrance exams by trying her best. Gecko leaders are called for an emergency meeting, and we get an explanation of their hierarchy. Six squadrons are led by their six strongest monsters and the Princess series serve below them as sub-leaders. Bosslar reveals that he will be creating a new monster and establishing a new squadron. He then congratulates Reaper Princess as he will be promoting her to monster, which will require enhancement surgery and fusion with an animal. She's congratulated by the other monsters and thinks that it might not be so bad if she could be a cute animal like her bunny comrade. However, Bossla reveals she will be fused with the mountain gorilla. That night, she laments how her life will be changing, but knows she can't just say no when she gets a call from her very pro-Gecko family explaining how proud they all are of her. She begins to express her displeasure, but her mother shows how her sister is coming out of her shell and plans to join Gecko after graduating. She doesn't want to let anybody down and wonders what Fudo would think just as he calls her. She only says hello and sniffles once, but he instantly knows something is wrong, stating he will be there in an hour. She explains everything and asks what he thinks she should do, but he says the only thing that matters is what she wants. She has never given it a thought, and he says that the kindness she always gives to others should be given to herself sometimes. She knows that being a gorilla would make it difficult for them to do date activities, and she credits him for making her want to do more things. Furthermore, if she had never met Fudo, she probably would have just gone along with what everyone else wanted, but now she doesn't want to. The next day, she breaks the news to Gecko, and everyone is shocked. However, Bosslar is extremely pleased, admiring how she only wants to rely on her naturally given gifts. At the beach, Bear reminds Dasumi that they are not on a vacation, 
and asks if she is sure about the tip she received. Her tip came from Fudo, who revealed that the Gelato 5 would be at the beach testing out their 12-piece giant fighting robot. The Gecko have deployed three squadrons with a mission to destroy the robot. Just then, missiles hit the beach and Professor Big Gelato reveals that he had done it by accident. Haru is disappointed to see that her team has taken a casual approach and begun drinking. Elsewhere on the beach, Beast Princess wonders if she and Dasumi can take on Fudo alone, but Dasumi pays her no mind as she runs to him. When Dasumi asks him what's wrong, he explains that he was too taken aback by her loveliness that he forgot to breathe. They then prepare to have the beach date of their dreams. Beast is amazed at how Dasumi went to fight Red Gelato without hesitation and decides not to sit around evaluating risk any longer. When she spots the two of them, she is in disbelief as she witnesses what she thinks is Dasumi mercilessly torturing him, and she must look away when she sees that Dasumi is going to smash his head. As she does, she is approached by Blue Gelato and rejects his advances as she notices Dasumi has infiltrated their ranks. That night, Big Gelato sets off some fireworks and Misaki thanks Dasumi as she has realized that she is the one that helped Fudo become a better man, allowing him to show more sides of himself. Big Gelato prepares his showstopper but something seems to go wrong. Beast watches as Dasumi runs towards her and thinks how even she could not manage to accomplish the mission on her own. Just then, the showstopper goes off, blowing up the ship, and Beast thinks Dasumi actually did it. On Gelato 5's train ride home, Dago looks at a picture and seems to notice something about Fudo's blonde friend. 